News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Starting out with this bright picture here today. Uh, as you can see, uh, LJ Runyon from Hagerman, who had this on Idaho Weather Watchers. We took this as just such a great shot this afternoon. So you can see some of the thunderstorms, especially around the Magic Valley, generally east of Boise, but we even had one that moved through just about right along the eastern borders of eastern sections of Boise. Uh, that was around uh, 9 o'clock to about 10.30 for this evening. So those things can happen even as we continue into the weekend. Something else to watch, not this weekend, but into next week. Here it is. Uh, so we're talking about Lee, which is coming up through here, and you can see some pretty impressive numbers. And by the time we get to Monday, it's going to be moving in this position here. And eventually, <clears throat> because of some of the, <clears throat> excuse me, because of some of the winds that are coming in uh, off the uh, United States right now, and that is some of the storms and the patterns that is pushing uh, the upper air pattern to the east, this hurricane could move in and actually move north and still maintain a little bit of its strength. So there's a little consideration about northern sections of uh, the uh, mid-Atlantic seaboard up around maybe New York City and some of those spots, but we'll have to watch that. That's probably coming along by about next Tuesday and Wednesday, which you're going to be seeing quite a bit of this. Now, something that we saw for tonight, all the lightning strikes that you can see just to the east of Boise. You can see some of the lightning strikes moving up right now into Idaho City, and it was all over the place. If you look here around Idaho, uh, up around Sun Valley, Here's Haley. You see a lightning strike that just moved to the north. So they're having some thunderstorms and some lightning in those locations. As we move up a little bit farther, you can see not much to the south, basically dying down for this evening. But we're looking at this each day that there's just about a 10%, maybe a 20% possibility of this as we move on into the weekend for Friday and especially Saturday. But for the most part, some beautiful weather. Sunny skies that we had all day long, and then the possibility of an isolated thunderstorm later at night. So you see Twin Falls tomorrow with 82 degrees for the high temperature. Temperatures will be the low to the mid 80s, even as far north as Shoshone. As you move into the Central Mountains, Sun Valley will be up to 75 degrees. 78 degrees will be the high for Haley and most of the Central Mountains. Long Valley, 75 for Donnelly. Cascade, you see with temperatures in the mid 70s for the West Central Mountains. Down here through the Southwest Valley, uh, highs tomorrow will be pretty close to what we had today. Now, yesterday was 90, today was 89. You see tomorrow about an 86. But then as we get into fr uh, Friday for Boise, it's also 86. Same thing for Meridian. But let me show you this on the seven day forecast. Uh, you can see here that you see the 90 for Saturday and possibly pretty close to 90 for Sunday. We could be seeing these temperatures edging down a little bit as we get into next Wednesday and Thursday. But you can also see through here that it's basically sunny conditions. As you look at the Magic Valley, it's the same thing. Temperatures into the mid 80s, down around 81, 82 degrees toward the end of next week. And as you look at the mountains, well, the mountains are beautiful for this time of year. There could be some isolated thunderstorms in some spots. But you know, for the most part, all day long, all day long, we're going to be looking at sunshine and temperatures mainly in the 70s. Probably toward the end of the month, that will be our seven day forecast. <laughs> okay, down here in the valley. Yeah, right. here, yeah, starting to having temperatures in the 70s, but enjoy your weekend if you're looking at the mountains. Yeah, it should be a nice one. Uh, temperatures still a little warmer here in the valley, which is good though, because some people still have a lot of summer they want to use. Gonna get in the water. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Enjoy it. All right, thanks, Rick.